Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school it is so good to have you with us again today i am teacher hartung and our theme this week is saving energy and revision now boys and girls before we start with our lesson let's sanitize now boys and girls remember when we sanitize our hands we make sure that it is clean and free of germs now that we're done with that, let's see what we are going to learn about today. In today's lesson, we'll do vocabulary, sight words, and number concept development. Let's start this part of our lesson on page 20. Now here, we are doing vocabulary. And there you will see we have a word search. In the instruction it says, find and circle the vocabulary words in the grid. Now let's quickly look at these vocabulary words. They are conditions, pollution, rubbish, cattle, solar, clean, purifying, elephant, conserve, energy, temperature, Blossom, boreholes, stars, moon, weather, movements, animals, water, and environment. Now, boys and girls, you have to go ahead and find all these words in the word search. Now, everyone, on the board, I have one piece of the uh, word search here. And we have three words here that we are going to do together so that you have an idea how to finish the rest of your word search. Now you will see two of the words have been circled already. The first one is the word moon. Can you see moon is circled over there? Now remember everyone, when or once you have found a word in your word search and you have circled it, then you must go ahead and you cross it out from the list. The next word was found also, and that is the word clean. So we have to go ahead and find the word stars. So remember, we start with the first letter S. So do you see a letter S anywhere? Of course, over there we have a letter S. Now we have to find the second letter of the word, which is the letter T. Is there a T next to it? No. Is there a T below? Yes, there we have a T. And then we have A R S. So there we have the word stars. And then we go ahead and we circle it in the word search and then we cross it out from the list. Now you have to do this with all the other words, boys and girls. I know that you will easily find all these words because you are so smart. 
So, I'm going to leave you now to quickly finish these words, but we quickly also have to look at number 21. Now here, we have to do sight words. And today it says that you have to read and color the sight words. All right, now let's quickly look at all these sight words. These words are together, great, different, enough, should, only, come, through, very, who, many, would, could, where, water, some, says, give, people. And the last one is old. Then it says, you have to make your own sentence with the following words. Through, should, water, and together. Now, boys and girls, I used the first word to make my own sentence on the board. So let's quickly see what is this sentence. Remember, this is the word through. It's the first word. Now you can go ahead and make your own sentence, but let's see mine. My sentence reads, we like to jump through hoops. Do you also like to jump through hoops? Yes, you do because it's lots and lots of fun. Now remember everyone, once again, when you write your sentences, you make sure that you start your sentence with a capital letter and that you end your sentence with a full stop. All right, now you have to go ahead and make sentences with all the other words. Now remember, you must, or, or you can also go back again and read all your vocabulary words again. It will do you a lot of good because that will make you a very good reader. Right, everyone, I want you to try and finish all these activities now. I will see you after this break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now let's start this part of our lesson on page 22. Now here we are doing number concept development. It says that you have to fill in the missing numbers. Each row should be equal to the number at the top. Now here we are going to do the first one. Now there you will see the top number is number 23. And then just below you have two more blocks. In the one block you have the number 20 and in the other block you have the number 3. Now that means if you take 20 plus 3 you will get the number 23. Now I copied this one on the board so let's quickly have a look how you have to go ahead completing the others. Now remember everyone we said that this number in the top block is your answer. So all these other numbers in this row, the numbers in this row and the numbers in this row. If you add them all together then they must all be equal to 23. Now let's see if that is the case. We said 20 plus 3 is 20 plus 3 equal to 23. Yes it is is. Now let's see. In the second row you only have the number 10. Now there you must fill in how many other numbers we need to get to 23. So here we say 10. So 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Plus 3 is that equal to 23? Yes it is. So there we also have all these numbers adding up to the number 23. Now let's try the last part. Here we have 6, 4, 6, 7. Now if we take 6 plus 4 plus 6 
plus 7. Will that add up to 23? Yes, it does, boys and girls. So, this rule is also equal to 23. Now, everyone, all the other blocks, you have to go ahead and do exactly the same way. Now, remember the number on top, that is the answer, or that is the number that all these other numbers must equal to. All right. Now, I need you to go ahead and try to do all of these others or complete all these other blocks on your own. But before you do that, let's quickly have a look at the next part of the activity. Now, in the next part, here you will see they, they give you a few sums which you must go ahead and complete or calculate. Now, on the board, there's two sums. So, let's quickly see how you have to go about doing that. Now, the first one is 18 plus 15. All right. Now, you can go ahead and maybe on a separate page, write it down for yourself like this so that you can get to the right answer. Now, let's quickly do this one together. 18 plus 15. Remember, we start with our units. We add our units together. 8 plus 5. And 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Good job, everyone. So we write the units in here and we carry over our tens. So now we say 1 plus 1 we know is 2 plus another one is equal to 3. So here we now have our answer which is 33. Let's try the minus sum together. Now this one says 37 minus 9. Now once again for this sum, remember everyone, we always start with our units. So here we say 7 minus 9. Can you tell me what is 7 minus 9? We cannot minus 7 or 9 from 7 because 7 is smaller than 9. What do we need to do now? That's right, everyone. We need to go and borrow from our 3. So we borrow 1 and we have 2 left over. So now we say 17 minus 9. And how much is 17 minus 9? It's 8. Good job, everyone. So we have now minus all our units. Let's minus our 10s. Here it says 2 minus nothing. You will see there's absolutely nothing there. So 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 and your answer for this sum is 28. Now you need to go ahead and finish or calculate all the other sums and make sure you write in the right answer. All right boys and girls, I'm now going to leave you to finish all your sums and work out all the other numbers that you have to work out in the little block. So, I hope you will have lots of fun boys and girls. I will see you after this ad break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. We came to the end of today's lesson, boys and girls. Now, before we go home, we need to sanitize. Now, let's make sure we put enough sanitizer on our hands so that we make sure our hands are nice and clean. Now, everyone, I invited my friend Zoshi to come along and say goodbye with me. So, will you help me call Zoshi? Zoshi! Zoshi, where are you? Oh, hi, Zoshi! There you are! Will you help me say goodbye to our friends today? 
Now, boys and girls, I hope you will have lots and lots of fun finishing your activities. Until we see each other again next time, goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.